Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mobilize the enzyme in our genome and then compare its activity with the enzyme. Enzyme immobilization is a technique where enzyme molecules are bound or trapped in a solid support. As reactant passing through the enzyme, reaction occurs and products can be collected. It is widely used in the industry for a few reasons. The product collected does not mix with the enzyme, so a further procedure to separate them is not necessary. Enzyme molecules recover more rapidly when they are immobilized, so they are ready for the next reaction in a shorter time. This technique also stabilizes the enzyme molecules, so they are less likely to denature. One of the most common methods to immobilize enzyme is by using sodium alginate. It can be solidified in calcium chloride solution, so if we mix it with the enzyme molecules, then drop the mixture into calcium chloride solution, the enzyme will be trapped in the solid alginate bits. Now let's look at the procedure. First, mix sodium alginate with the enzyme that you want to immobilize. Then, draw up the mixture by using a syringe. Drop the mixture into calcium chloride solution, one drop at a time. The mixture will be solidified once it is in the solution. The enzyme is now trapped in the solid alginate bits. They are ready to be used for the enzymatic reaction. An observable reaction is needed in this experiment. Enzyme ethanol dehydrogenase and methylene blue can be used for this purpose. The enzyme catalyzes a reversible reaction that converts ethanol to ethanol. During the conversion, NAD acts as the hydrogen acceptor and will be reduced. If we add in methylene blue, it takes the place of NAD. Methylene blue becomes colorless when it is reduced. So, by measuring the time taken for methylene blue to be decolorized, we can find out the rate of reaction. First, prepare ethanol dehydrogenase solution and alginate beads which contain the enzyme. The volume and concentration of the enzyme has to be the same. Next, add the same volume of methylene blue into two test tubes. Add in ethanol, the substrate for the reaction. Buffer can be used to prevent any pH change. Place the test tube in a thermostatically controlled water bath. Allow time for temperature equilibration. Then, add in the enzyme and start the digital stopwatch immediately. Record the time taken for methylene blue to be decolorized. Rate of reaction can be calculated as 1 over the time taken. Make at least 3 replicates to obtain the mean value. Lastly, you can use a statistical test such as the t-test to compare the mean time taken or rate of reaction. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You can also find me on Facebook. Thank you and see you again soon.